Welcome to Dear Alice, a lifestyle approach to interior design. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Dear Alice. We've got Sue Hall. We've got Corey Place. Hello. And Jess Bennett. Hi, Jess. Hi. How, How are we doing, guys? Good. Yeah. Feeling juicy. Yeah. It's excited. been a good energy today. Yeah. yeah. Jess excited. has brought the energy for real. Oh, I yeah. like it. Oh, yeah. Her, her blood's been all over the place. I know. <laughs> I'm here for the wild ride. We're celebrating. I mean, we're, we, we, of course, record this podcast in advance. So today we're celebrating National Women's, International Women's Day. I was like, why do we call it International Women's Day? I was like, because we all. It's a worldwide Ooh. event, homeboy. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> That's why. Please. It's a worldwide event. Everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's international. National man, well, women so, get shit done too. Yeah, we do. Uh, yeah, it's great. So I'm feeling the energy from that, and it's just so fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, you know what, I I wasn't planning on doing this, but um, we wrote a little um, email out about International Women's Day to all the people that are insiders. I think at the emails, so sign up if you guys aren't an insider, you get like special everything. And I don't know why not everybody's an insider. Maybe they don't know, but. Anyway, perks galore. Perks galore. Of them. Perks galore. I love it too. That's great. There are perks galore. Uh, you should be over marketing. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag perks galore. <laughs> Buckets <funny>. of perks. <laughs> Buckets. <laughs> Buckets of them. Keep going. Um, anyway, so I was just talking about how neat it is to be. Um, how needed it is to be a woman today and that we can just do the work we want to in the world. And we don't live in the 1950s or the 1920s um, and have different stereotypes that we have to push up against. And I was just feeling nostalgic for my grandma who was born in 1919 and she was such a brilliant, brilliant at everything. Great at math. She was just so, so smart and um, was a sole provider in her household of eight kids. She had eight children and Um, she went down, my mom wrote me the most beautiful, um, text. She said, I saw your email today celebrating. You talked about grandma, how she worked on the switchboard at the uh, Metro, at the Metro station or Mm -hmm. transit station. And they made you take an entrance exam, um, to be able to go and work on the switchboards. And she got the highest score of anybody that's ever taken it. And she only had a high school education, but grandma's just so smart. And she, she did that. And then she taught um, sewing lessons at Singer um, sewing machines. And then she would make draperies for people. Um, when she moved to Richfield with my family, she worked for my dad in the eye clinic and made draperies on the side. And she's just always been a hustler. And I was like, oh man, I just feel so much of my grandma Collier. And I'm like, I wish she was born today because she would be Martha freaking Stewart yeah. and she would just have an empire. And I just feel this legacy in me. Um, for grandma. And it's just been like such a teary thing as I think about how cool it's, totally. it's been for women. I'm sure there's a deeper thing that we celebrate in international women's day, besides the fact that we get to do work in the world and you know, that we get to be treated as equals. And it's just a, it's just a really cool thing to get yeah. to be a woman today. I think it's amazing. And we, we live in a place where we can, there's still places that you can't, mm-hmm. like we're not in Persia. Like there's still places that are like there's a halt yeah, and you feel the contrast when you do realize how much we're able to do, how capable yeah. women are. Your grandma was so capable. My grandma, yeah. she, was, she was one of those gals. She would like write and like, she was super clever and she'd write and win all the riddle things <gasps> and win prize money. No way. There was like a show about yeah. that. Oh awesome. my gosh. Like, That's cute. Yeah. She owned her own like businesses when she could, but they, there's just so capable. So, humans are just capable of great mm-hmm. things and when held back, it's just so unfortunate. I agree. So I'm just really grateful. Yeah. Yeah. I walked into Alice Lane today, which is predominantly Corey. I'm glad you're here. I wasn't at the warehouse when I walked in this morning, it's, but it's okay. mm-hmm. predominantly women, the manager, like all the stylists, everybody and everybody was just hustling and doing their portion of the pie to make this thing go around. And I was just so grateful, mm-hmm. you know, and then we like met with this incredible rep woman owned company. And she was telling her story of, you know, they were Vietnam refugees and like how Mm. their family has had to like rebuild here in America and what she's created. Uh, I'm like, it's just, it's, it's amazing. The human spirit's amazing. It is. When given opportunities. It's really, really incredible. Human spirit is amazing when given opportunities. That's so great. Well, we are going to be doing the podcast today on what um, El Decor publishes a short list every uh, month, and they always feature a different designer, person of interest that's doing beautiful things in the world, and they give their short list of things that they love, like their favorite place to stay or their favorite perfume or their favorite drink or 
their favorite fabric or whatever. And so we thought it'd be so fun to give you guys our short list um, because I feel like being in the industry, we might know some things or just even on a more personal side, just to sort of get to know each other better and um, get a little peek inside what makes us tick. So anyway, I'm excited to hear your short list, I'm Sue. Excited. We haven't told each other a short list. So yeah, This will totally. be a surprise for all of us. And Corey, I'm excited for yours yeah, too. I, yeah, that song, yeah. that one was for you. Favorite song. Oh, oh yeah. I we'll forgot to put my that. favorite song right. on there, but I will figure improv. it out. It will be improv. I'll say pass and then you'll have to give me a different question. <laughs> I know. I think another thing too, that like helps, this was in the forecast anyway. Mm -hmm. And then we have a polo group of ladies and mm -hmm. one of them was talking about not being a gatekeeper, yes. and not withholding information from the people, like from people, like, mm -hmm. why are you holding back? Why don't you share information? If it's working, if it's good news, if it's an amazing cake, why aren't you telling me about it? Give me your recipe, give man. Me damn recipe. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Oh, I so. hate it when there. I used to have a neighbor. <laughs> I know exactly <laughs> what this is. <laughs> I probably already told the story. No, you haven't, but I just know the neighbor because I've just, known you since you've had that neighbor. I should skip the, the story and then give the gatekeeper story or should I give the salsa story? No, I think salsa you have to. Story? Yeah. 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 I don't think I've heard it. Salsalitos. Okay. Well, we used to live in a different place and I'm not going to say where, but we had a neighbor and she would come over for Christmas and she would say, Hey, I made you salsa and chips. And I was like, wait, back up. You made salsa? And she's like, yes, but I can't give you the recipe because I promised the woman who makes the recipe that I would never give it out. And she wouldn't give it to me for years and years. And I asked her like every time I would see her. And finally, before she moved, she gave me her salsa recipe. And I, so here it is. Merry Christmas, but I can't give you the recipe. And I'm like, I didn't even ask you for the recipe, Joker. I don't, I'm not going to make salsa. I, I don't know how to make salsa. I don't even grow tomatoes. I don't even care. I don't even eat ketchup. I don't even care about tomatoes, you know? And so we of course taste the salsa. And I'm like, this is amazing. This is really good. It's so, but it's such a bummer that I can't make the salsa. But in the same time, I don't make, I don't make things really. I don't, I never ask anybody for their recipe. I've just, I'm not in the kitchen ever. And so it doesn't occur to me to ask that, but the fact that she's giving a gift while saying to me, I'm not going to give you the recipe. Merry Christmas. It was just like, <laughs> she's just this gatekeeper, you yeah, know? And yeah. now every time we have salsa, we like, oh, oh, we say her name in vain. <laughs> if we want to swear around the house, we just use her name instead. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so anyway, we had this girlfriend who um, was recently saying, guys, I just barely discovered that if I would use hot rollers after I blew my hair out and left it in while I did my makeup and other things that when I take the hot rollers out, my hair maintained more volume. And she's like, I just wanted to share that because I'm not a gatekeeper and I just think that women can help women and lately I've been doing it and I love it so men can help men yeah and men can help so women hot tip women can help men you want hot, tip? hot rollers Vel yeah. velcro it. it's velcro rollers hot tip that's it that was all she said and we were like I love so much that she doesn't believe in gatekeeping oh. I don't believe in gatekeeping I'm that's still mad about the salsa and it's been <laughs> it's been a decade uh, <laughs> and so I just am like I love not being gatekeepers let's give the people all of our favorite things on a podcast yeah. So here we are. Okay. Yes. Long, long intro all to say that. So, um, let's start with you, Sue. I feel like you're very prepared and Corey, and then I'm going to fumble my way to an answer Whatever. while we're waiting. Yes. Okay. What's your first favorite thing, Sue Hall? Okay. Lately, my favorite, I'm, I, if you didn't remember, I turned 40 this year. I'm a Capricorn. Um, so, happy birthday. You know, so I've been caring a little bit more about my skincare routine um, and which as, is included, as you do, which has included a, a great deal of research and a great deal of, oh. like, of asking Jess and like listening to the other things. Yeah. My favorite face cream right now is Sacha, the dewy skin cream. Ooh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Yes. I, I didn't know this like about this, you. This, yeah. I love the whole suite. I think okay. it's the chamomile. Is it? Something like that. It's their oil cleanser. Spell Sacha for the people. S A T C H A. <laughs> You're trailing. <laughs> J K L M N O P Q R S T U V. Now, now I'm like second guessing myself. Damn it. Um, anyway, if you, go, if you go to Sephora, they have like the whole suite. But I uh -huh. got, I've had the dewy cream, um, uh -huh. dewy skin cream 
for probably like the last year. I think I was oh, giving wait. it. Is it Tatcha? T A C H A? Tatcha. See, guys, I choked. <laughs> I went totally cold. Tatcha. Tatcha, Tatcha, Tatcha. Yes. T A C H A. Yes. You. I have one of their under eye situations. It's like chapstick for your under eyes. So great. If they start she, to get crepey. Yeah. Yes. I, I, I was reading the story about the lady that invented, and she was, I think she was from tech. And then oh, like she I was love in that. Japan and like, I think that's, I don't know if that's her nationality mm. anyway, but she just like, it. she started meeting and like finding out a better way and a more just like a clean way, but a very effective way. Yes. And so I love, I love their product. You can go to Sephora and you can get the whole like cleansing kit, see which one things you like, but I love their oil cleanser and I absolutely love the dewy skin cream. Yeah. And yeah, a little goes a long way. It doesn't feel sticky. I tell all my friends about it. And it oh, just like, it makes me so happy to put it on in the morning and the night. I love so, it. That's yeah, great. That's my favorite. Fantastic. Yes. I have yes. to, I have to just um, drift off of what you're saying in that oh. I have forever been such a lover of all things. Um, Shiseido. Oh yeah. Which is also Japanese. And I think it's the oldest makeup line in the world. Yeah. And they came out with a newer line called NARS. Mm. And so that's yeah. also Japanese yeah. and um, all of the, the beautiful, um, like skincare and everything is in it, but I forever have used their, um, uh, foundation Shiseido. I mean, anything Shiseido I buy because it's great. I love it. It agrees with my skin. Yeah. Um, and so, but their foundation, I just swear by it's like lifting and, um, radiant it's called lifting radiant foundation and, um, it comes in like more of a matte and a dewy matte and a more of a shiny one. Don't get the shiny one. It's actually too oily looking. And then you really do feel like you have to put powder on, but the other one is radiant enough that you do glow. Um, and I have to say the one thing I do get asked about my skincare for some reason a lot. I think it's just because my skin is darkening so much as I get older. Um, turns out I've got a health condition that I'm going to get fixed, but, um, I, I do get asked about my skincare a lot. And I'd say the one thing that you have to do besides Shiseido foundation, which I swear by is get the, um, skin ceuticals CE Frulic. That's right. You've been a fan of that since I've met. Yeah. And if you go to a med spa and you get facials and everything else, everybody sells CE for, or they all sell skin ceuticals and it's like foundational it's skincare, it's science, but the CE Frulic is really great for the winter cause it's a little bit oily and the Floritin for some people, they switch to that in the summer. It's less oily. I'm a lizard. I'm so dry. I can't get enough moisture. So I just stick with the CE Frulic year round and you will glow from the inside skincare wise. It's not makeup. It's not as far as like, um, putting on a shimmery thing to make your skin shine. Cause glowiness and dewiness is all the rage right now. This will actually make your skin glow. Not, not like a, a topical thing. So Tip, I love this hundred percent. Just do that. If, if people keep asking me for a skincare routine, I just always said to them just by the skin ceuticals, CE Frulic. Mm-hmm. You get put five drops in your hand in the morning after you have a clean face, dot it on your face, rub it in, and then do whatever you do on top of that. But that is the difference. I love that. Yeah. I love or, it too. Or what are you using on your face? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I need to, cause I have, man, I have hardcore. Cause I have, in. I have perfect skin. No, no, yeah, I, no uh, foundation. That's the thing about men though. Like they I can know. have all the wrinkles and they just get more handsome. That, I agree. That is, that is Tom, kind of true. Tom is, yeah. I, I have been doing this though. And I learned this on the Smartless podcast from Jason. Ooh, Bateman. Tell us. I um, love water. Smartless. The cold, water? the cold water every morning. And I swear it Wait, tightens up. What's this. the cold water? It you just splash cold. your face with cold water. Uh, uh-uh. like fits. Yeah. It just, and it tightens it. It's kind of like, the wait, wait, wait. Did eye. you just say like a Schwitz? Yeah. <laughs> oh my Jewish. That's amazing. Um, so that. yeah, I mean, I, I've been doing it. Uh, I got Mari into doing it. I feel it really helps. It, it really does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. I just so, learned about skincare from Corey Place. That's the first thing I do. I'm totally going to do that. Yep. Okay. You know what else I just heard is amazing. Um, my, I just really went down to Arizona and just spent a quick weekend with a girlfriend and a few other friends. And she is like Dr. Quinn medicine woman and swears by this. She says every morning you go and you go to the largest window or if it's warm enough, go outside and stand in the light for seven minutes. She's like, if you can get your whole body in the light, it makes a huge butt difference naked. to your energy, yeah. your aura, everything else. She didn't say butt naked, but I'm sure like whatever you sleep in. Just go stand in your big picture window in your bedroom or in front in your bathroom or uh, go stand on your deck. Mm-hmm. 
But she said, first thing in the morning, if you do it, it makes incredible difference for you, your energy, everything your else, mood, probably your mood. Yeah. 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 Um, it's, and then come in and, and spitz, spitz, spitz the yeah. cold water on your face yes. and then use your CE Ferulic and then yeah. use your dewy skin cream. That's the secret sauce. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yes. And join it for the, ins the insiders and get buckets of what were you saying too? Oh, I know, but I don't, I can't remember now. <laughs> That's a year, a year ago uh, in podcast minutes. Amazing. Okay. okay. <laughs> We graduate from skin. What's next? Oh, you have body cream next. I just have to share this. I yeah. got it for you this one time. I think I saw it from an influencer. Um, for just like after your shower, like um, I was, I'm a lizard too, and you have to put lotion everywhere. Um, I love the Gold Bond overnight cream. Mm. That stuff is so good, and I and I haven't found a lotion that is as moisturizing as that one. So yeah. I just like, I usually like, well, like to stick it in a gift bag for everybody. And I, mm -hmm. cause it's like, it's not hard to find. It's not mm -hmm. hard to get. And it's just the absolute best. It's just like a quick, a quick grab mm -hmm. bag. And I love it. I'm like people need to know. Yeah. The gold bond overnight cream. Totally. Mm. I'll um, tell you what I, I have kept it on my nightstand until I ran out of it. I need a refill, Sue. Just kidding. <laughs> by myself. Um, but I do. I put it on my heels and my knees and my elbows. And it is like a mask. It's so nice and thick. You so put it on in the morning, too. Even though it says overnight, you can do whatever you want with it. Of course I could. Sure. I should spend more time in the morning moisturizing my body. <laughs> yeah. Your heels and your knees. <laughs> heels. <laughs> yeah. Shoulders, <laughs> knees, and elbows. So I, I, need to get, I need to get into that program because I'm really not. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. When's your birthday? I'm just like, you don't have to wait that long. Okay. Check yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I have to say, I heard once a study that says, um, you lose the most moisture from your skin the first three minutes that you get out of the shower. Like that's the very best time to apply wow. mo moisture because your pores are open and they're big from the hot shower. And so they say that's when it's most critical to get moisture back in your pores while they're enlarged. So I just started doing a thing where I keep um, an oil in my shower. So after I take a shower, I dry off and I put my towel on my head and then I start getting what moisture oil? back in my system. Right now I'm using an apricot oil. I forget the brand, but they all have like little spouts. So you just mm. click, click open and then just start dotting it on and rubbing it in and getting all your legs and your arms and everything. Cause you don't have clothes on. It's easy to do it. Cause you're already in the shower and your pores are wide open. And so there's a couple of really, really nice ones, but I was just start experimenting on whatever smells you like or unscented. If you're sensitive, but I am really loving the body oils yeah. just right after the shower. I do need to still get the head, shoulders, knees, and to toes yeah. with your <laughs> overnight, my gold bond. I sound like gold such a, bond. An old yeah. dude. I'm like, get your fisherman's friends in your gold bond. <laughs> well, you <laughs> are <the> below <laughs> you, <laughs> you little influencer. You? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that's, that's something I'm experimenting with and trying, but I also want to say this about skincare, almost all things. I, I am not usually brand loyal. I'm always jumping around because I'm very curious. Yeah. I think it's super fun. And when I run out of something, I'm like, I want to try the next thing. And I also feel like your skin responds to something new. So if you're using the same thing over and over and over again for I years, know. then you're just going to kind of just start to not ever get a new result. It's not going to be dewy anymore. Yeah. And if you want your skin to perk up, then try something new or different. Okay. Don't buy that same lotion and get five of them and keep them on the shelf. Nope. Cause it's not going to make you still look as dewy and gorgeous over the years. It'll just sort of be nor. Yeah. I don't know. You'll and just start to dull your too. shine. Yes. Always coming out, so it'd be a shame if you're just be like, super curious. Don't yeah. get caught in a rut except for the CE Frulic. I've tried other things cause the CE Frulic is probably like $180 for a tiny little bottle, but it's going to last you for like four or five months. So just spend the money. If you see a 20% off sale, buy that, have that Cheap be your one Botox. thing. Cheaper than Botox. It doesn't stop wrinkles. So it's a different mechanism, but Sorry. still do it. Um, but I would say I've tried to sleep around on that one and I always have to come back to it because I'm just so disappointed. I, I'm actually trying a new thing right now and I'm really bummed that I don't have my CE Frulic. So don't cheat on that, but cheat on other things and try yeah. stuff. Try all the different shower oils. Do you have a after shower regimen? Um, no, I don't. And I probably should. You guys are going to think this is crazy. And I'm, but I heard yesterday on this podcast, 
that if you take a cold shower, like ice cold instead of warm, that it releases 200% more dopamine in your brain. It's true. I've done this before. I, so I did it this yeah. morning and it, it's hard. It's really hard. <laughs> so I used to hard. do cold baths in the attic because we didn't have a shower, right? <sighs> yeah. So we were like, either so it'd be like a cold You were plunge. doing a cryo we, plunge before was it was not. cool. <laughs> yeah. Free. And then I would go juice. Shoot. And then you did juice. <laughs> right? Yeah. I? You were I mean, Dr. We're so Quinn weird, medicine so woman. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but it also, I think it was a Kobe Bryant thing. You know, he said like, it, if you have any muscle aches or anything like that, cold shower first. I'm telling you. Oh, I, did I, you eventually switch to warm or did you just stay cold? No. It's amazing though, especially like when you get out, your body just like naturally warms up. Mm -hmm. So you get in there, it's like numbing for the first little bit, but just like, oh, oh my gosh, I cannot. It was stay, so stay hard for you. It's <laughs> really, really, really hard. Yeah. It's really, really hard. Like dim the lights, throw a candle on and just like try and stay still and hold your breath. And then, but you get out and like, it is like the most tingly thing all over your body and you feel amazing. It's, it's a great way to, to start it. I'm going to try it. It's, You're going to hate it. I will it. report back. <laughs> I see people like that have the cryo bath and they get in and I'm like, why are you doing that? It was, yeah. I it's need super. to, it's I'm going to read the it's benefits. It's good for your body. Okay. It's good for your muscles. It's good for healing. It's good for everything. It's, okay. It's, it's weird. Great. I love it. But let's be weird. Okay. Yeah. About it. I'm into okay. it. All right. Gosh, we have a lot to go. Let's see. Um, favorite, favorite coffee table book. What's your favorite coffee table I book? I have so many books, you guys. And I am not a reader, but I'm obsessed with the coffee table book because I don't have to be a reader to love it. They're all big picture books mm -hmm. for grownups yep. that particularly love interior design or fashion or whatever your topic is. It's low on text, big on visual. And I love to open my books and put beautiful things on the open spine and put it in a book crate. I'll put it on my cocktail table, put it on my center hall table. And I'm just rotating them to get different looks and opening them for different, you know, things that I just want to feel right now. And so, um, it's hard to choose one because I love the combination of different books for visual. And I also love certain ones for the interior. For instance, so many of us have bought the Tom Ford book, the black one with the white copy, terrible interior interior. You're buying that just to sit on your shelf mm -hmm. because inside it's not good. And there's a lot of um, like nudity and stuff like that. So if you have kids around, you're like, maybe not with this one, <laughs> but <laughs> it's also not overly interesting, but maybe it's because you have to really read the fine copy to get into it. I haven't read the white one yet. I don't have the white Tom Ford book, the new one, oh, but one. I don't know that. I don't know. It's, but there are some that are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous to open right now on my entry table. I have the big book of chic by miles red, I believe. Yeah. And every page is so gorgeous, big, massive, colorful visuals. And it gives back to your house in such a big way. And then for the center hall table or forever shooting my mantle or working through something, I always grab the same two books just for the visual of them closed. And the bottom book that I'll use is Christian Lee Egg. And it just says Lee Egg, really big in black copy on a white book. And the copy bends from the spine up to the front. And then on top of it, I will put David, um, not David, um, Thomas Pheasant. Yeah. And his book is so beautiful. Also white. It has like a celestial mirror on the cover right in the center. Mm -hmm. And just, um, I think the composition of the book cover is very important. And these two look amazing together. So those are my top two for styling. Mm -hmm. Um, you can't get the Lieg book anymore. I don't think, but he probably has new ones. But if we ever did write a book, I would take a really, really long time to get the cover right because, sure. and the sizing too. So that if you want to be on the bottom of the stack or the top of the stack. Yeah. Cause like there's more than one. It'd be yeah. cool yeah. to, to create a stack of books for sure. You know, like book series. one is on the bottom book two, Yeah. like levels up, you know what yeah. I mean? And that the spines kind of interact with each other. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite book, Sue? Okay. For um, like Book Cradle and even for like the cover, I love the Vogue books. I love the Vogue Country City Coast. I love the Vogue Houses, Gardens, and People. You flip it to the interiors and they're just like really fascinating um, designers, artists. And so you see like their homes. I just, I love, I actually love the reading mm -hmm. on the actual person because I think people are fascinating. So I think those are fantastic. Um, I love any of the, is it Auseline? A S S, -S O U L I N E. Um, their books are just so gracious in their scale. They're a bottom book because mm -hmm. they're all just so massive, but they're usually really thick. They usually have like a gold leafed on a linen cover or they'll be like really bold or dynamic. Um, 
I got one when we were in San Francisco at the Modern Museum on, on Frida. And it's just massive. It's her mm. entire collection, entire life. Amazing. But it's just it's ivory with like, and it says her name, but then the interior is just so interesting too. But it's just, I just keep it at the bottom stack because it just like has such a good lift and it just looks good with my other stuff. Nice. So any of those, I just think the scale of it and it like, it really tells people what you're interested in. Yeah. You know, when you can kind of like have this tight face screaming mm -hmm. what your, what your loves are, I think is really, really cool. Um, so love Big Book of Chic. Mm -hmm. And yeah, but I think, yeah, the Vogue books are probably like my go-to favor. If I want to sketch something, I'll just like go in there and I'll start to sketch what I see. Yeah. But I think they're just like really interesting profiles and cool pieces. Yeah. So, that's great. Yeah. I love it. What do you love, Corey? Uh, it's a book called me and my friends. It's mm. a, um, like a tour account of, uh, the red hot chili peppers. I, like, love, I was about to say me and my friends. That's Amazing. Yeah. Um, and they, so they've only traveled with one like tour photographer ever in like their entire career, which is insane. Cause they've been around for like decades. Uh, and so this is just like a compilation of all of like their favorite pictures. And they have people of like, or pictures of their roadies and their stage manager and stuff like that. And obviously each one of those guys are like a character themselves. So mm -hmm. those pictures are really interesting. Um, but yeah, that's on, uh, my side table in my, um, yeah. front room. So yeah, that's great. That's a good one. So fun. Okay. Next up. Is the next one favorite drink? Mm hmm. Yeah. Drink. Yeah. Favorite you drink. Core? Uh, mine is an iced almond milk latte. Nothing in it. Just those two things. It's my favorite that. drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Morning, night, any time of day. Um, yeah. I mean, in the mornings preferably, but, uh, not past like four or 5 PM. Cause then I'm just wired. wired. Yeah. 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 Totally. It's my favorite drink though. I love it. Jesse, what's your favorite mm. drink? Hmm. I like a few different things. I'm kind of on a drink journey. I got off the sauce, as I say, that's Diet Coke for the rest of you. Um, but you feel smarter. Back in April <laughs> because of the COVIDs. Um, I, you know, I just drank it for so long. That I was like, I'm just going to drink it till I die. And then I finally didn't <laughs> have to. Thing. So I got so sick. Yeah. So I've been drinking um, Spindrift grapefruit. It's my favorite, but also the mango one's delightful. Um, when I want like a sparkling water. And then, um, recently went down to Arizona and had green juice and it rocked my world. My Delicious. brain felt like it took a cold shower. Yeah. 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 And I just was like, I felt like somebody screwed my light bulb in all the way. And I was like on. What exactly is green juice? Let's um, bring it, down. it depends. Right. I think that they put, um, There's celery and ones. kale and cucumber and yeah, sometimes just, green apple. Yeah. It depends. Everybody makes them differently, but we just don't have a juice place here in Utah. So I've been trying so hard to figure out how to do it, but my brain couple, but there's, feels like yeah. somebody washed the windows mm. and I can see clearly. And so I've just been buying some refrigerated ones from the grocery store for the time being. So I'm trying to rock that out, but then um, I'm cold all the time because I have a low thyroid and diabetes. And so I do love um, every now and again to drive through Starbucks and get a uh, hot chocolate that's mint, mm. mint hot chocolate made with almond milk, but I still put whip on top. That's okay. Oh, yep. Okay. Yeah. And that one's really, really great. And then I just warm up right away. Yeah. And it's okay. not like a cold shower for my brain. <laughs> yeah. It's like, but it a, feels it's like good. a robe. It's like a heated blanket. Yeah. There you go. It's really nice. So it kind of depends on your mood, but Love that's it. kind of what I'm liking right now. What do you like, Sue? I'm going to say the green juice is the heat. It's for sure healing. So yes. There's no doubt in my mind that you feel like a cold shower. Um, I was going to say five seeds. They're green juice. I crave it. It's me too. I crave that stuff. I'm and so if excited. I just, someone will just open up a drive through with like excellent green juices and concoctions for us. If you guys can hear us out there, please. We live in Utah and the sound of my voice. There's no green juice maker here. Nowhere to get a juice. Yes. Make one with a drive through. That's all. That's you all will be this lady wants. so rich. Oh my gosh. You see those yeah. straight lines? Yours will be longer. Longer, way longer. Oh my gosh. Everyone's so sick and we're It'll, all so dumb from all the diet coke we've been drinking. You will be the next cookie. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes. Seriously, we need an exodus right now. We Definitely. Need to drive this out. Okay. But yeah, my favorite drinks, I love to drink my calories. So it depends on the place. It depends on the time of day. It depends on the location. Yeah. Um, I love. My diabetes just started itching me I inside <laughs> when you said that. I was I like, know. don't do it. I'm Sue. a social drinker. So I didn't even street start drinking diet Coke until I met Jess and went to market. <laughs> damn it. And then I was like hooked. And then I'm like, it's, it's like free calories. And then Sue's I, will put and anything it down. It has carbohydrates. Huh? Like I didn't yeah. even know that. But um, diet Coke for sure. I'll do that. But um, with lime. 
Yeah. Of course, anything with lime. I love, I love Coca-Cola in a glass bottle. So much sugar, but I love it. I love the sangria in the glass bottle. I love, I love freaking horchata. You guys, it's so mm-hmm. horchata. Yeah, it's blonde amazing. and white as I am. Yeah. Um, yeah especially yeah, really a good is. one. Yeah. Mm, yeah. It's so good. I wrote down a lot of them, but I'll just leave it at that. I could go on for a long time about drinks, but. Oh, like in a mint limeade. I love a mint limeade. Yeah, that's mm. so good. Ooh, a mint yeah. julep. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Let's go to a concert and get a mint julep. Yeah. I love do that. love a mint limeade. That is so good. So delicious. Yeah. So those are some of my fave drinks. Yeah. I love anything oh. citrus. That's so good. It is. Mm. Sour. Yeah. yeah. Like Squeeze a grapefruit like on my face. I love like, it. That's all I wanted. Just like, uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lemon and vinegar. Just so chill. good. Amazing. Okay. All right. Um, favorite sheets. We're the same. I know. We are the same. What's favorite your favorite sheet? sheet? I'm What's different. your favorite sheet? I think I'm different than you. What's guys. your sheet? Um, I like, I've only had like the two, uh-huh. you know, I like Maloof's tensile better than. Yeah. yeah. Than, I'm sleeping on tensile right now. It does, it does depend on the time of year. Um, Suzanne, why don't you say your favorite sheet? Like a slippery dolphin. Um, I love, we've had all of them from like, do you remember like Mateo? Yes. Like Mateo linen sheets. We've had Liebco now. We've had that for a long time. Oh. We've had, um, what is that? Maloof. Maloof. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Their linen sheets. We've had Tencel. We've had, I lo- I do love the ones, the um, Cozy Earth ones. Those are lovely too. And those are more bamboo. I love and continue to buy and will to the day I die, the Liebco Santiago linen sheets in white. Yes. I love them so much. I love the generosity they do when I make the bed. Mm-hmm. I love the way they continue to feel. They don't. Anyway, I just absolutely love them. Yeah. They it's like do. a gift to get into bed. It really, really yeah. is. Summer, winter, like that's my ride yeah, or die. It really and, is. And Tom's too. Like. And they get better the more you wash them. Your first impression is a little crunchy about it. And then the more you wash them, the softer they get and they just breathe and they have a little bit of weight. So in the summer, when you're hot, you still can have your sheet on you because it breathes, but it gives you enough weight that you still feel like you're covered. And, and I'm a night shower uh, girl. Yeah, me too. I like to be clean at night before I get into my bed. And I love getting into leave co sheets clean at the end of the day. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's my favorite. It's the best. With it is a luxury. And and potions. They cost a little bit of money, but I will say. They last a long time. And if you oh. have two sets eventually, like you rotate them, like, yeah, they're great. And if you have linen sheets from like another company mm-hmm. and you're like, they get holes in them or they, they're splintering or whatever, their flax isn't long enough. Leave yeah. really like, we've tried so many linen sheets that this is the tried, true and tested one. Mm-hmm. So ride or yeah. die. Yeah. If we get them out of Belgium. Eddie, we love you. Yeah. We air freight yep. them in from Belgium and they are the, they have the biggest, longest staple because they have the conditions to grow flax really, really long. And so you don't have short staples making up your linen sheet. You have these big, long, gorgeous ones and they are really hardy. And then of course they just get super, super soft and they're a total treat. And if you want to give your grown up self a real nice gift, mm-hmm. white Santiago, yeah, linen sheets from our good friends at the Leapco. 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 Yeah. It's Remember the best that time that I got the tinsel sheets. It was just like a complimentary gift. They're like, pick your color. And it, like, usually I would get white. I'm like, I'm going to get the, what was it? Marigold or saffron color. I'm like, for sure you be did. <laughs> and I threw it on. I felt like a pimp. Like it was like the <laughs> ugliest bed I've ever seen. Oh, that's hilarious. Never again. So I tried it guys. We try a lot of things. Like we're a design we do. lab. It's our so job. When we tell you this is our favorite and know that there was a lot of um, research and development in yes. that decision. <laughs> yes. Don't get the saffron sheets. Yes. Bad move. Yeah. Bad move. And yeah. I was about to say, unless you want to get some pregnant, but it's not sexy. They're yeah. not cute. Don't do it. I agree. So, okay. Uh, All right. Oh, wait. It, did we hit it? Oh, yeah, no. we hit it. No, what's yours? You're, are you the same? I, I love, I love both for different reasons. It depends. <laughs> the mother, the mother talking. Now. I know it depends on, on what, like right now, special. right now, Adam made our bed with the, with the tinsel and they are just so they're just really, really nice. Yeah. 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 I have a, because they do sleep cooler than cotton, um, four times cooler than cotton. Mm. I do have my like heated pad on my little feet, but they are just really, they're just foxy. I think. Yeah, the t- I they're love really the nice. But then when yeah. I put my linen on after like, that's my second pair. So I'll wash those and I'll put my linen on on Saturday. And then it's just like, <gasps> oh, oh yeah, it just feels so good. So I like switching off because then I appreciate 
than both. But in the summer when it's really hot, I do think the tinsel is lovely. I'm just a hot sleeper. So I like it year round. Yeah. Adam's hot too. I'm a cold sleeper. Me too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're like a slippery little dolphin. Uh-huh. Like just swish around in there. It's fun. Yes. It's fun to slip around. Really yeah. Fun. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Guilty pleasure. Is this like, is this food? What are we? It can be anything. I want okay. to leave it open. Okay. I want your interpretation of guilty pleasure. Okay. Well, so you're ready for yours. So why don't you say what yours sure is? Am. Yeah. My guilty pleasure. I took it in the food direction because I love food. Mm-hmm. I am like a 12 year old boy. I love ice cream and I love pizza so yeah. much. Um, but my favorite ice cream is the graters and I mm. love the dark chocolate raspberry. I so good. That. And I also, I didn't used to love chocolate as much as I do in my older age, but I just love, um, at P3712, they have that Amano chocolate pudding oh. and it is my very, very favorite. It's if so ever good. I'm like driving by, I'm just like, I call it in just to grab it so I can have it at night. Oh really? Yeah, when You're the kids good. Are in bed for a second, you yeah. know, before they get back up, I <laughs> throw that down, <laughs> <laughs> throw that puppy down I'm real like, fast. What is happening at Suzanne Hall's house <laughs> that she can't keep her kids it's down? It's like a nightclub, guys. Yeah. We, we must Absolutely threaten our worse. kids or something because we haven't had that experience oh. before. You're just a party cat. It's fun to cuddle with. Manola just can't yeah. get enough of me. Oh my Man- gosh. Manola's so a party cute. animal. Oh so. yeah, he yeah. is. Just like, he's just like you. And I'm like, ah, oh, he's a morning <laughs> and a night person. This is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> suck. Oh, Thanks. that's amazing. Okay. Anyway, those, those are a couple of my Those are really team, good ones. Team pleasures. Yeah. And candles. I can't stop myself, guys. <laughs> I literally can't stop myself because yeah. I'm like, life is really hard. It's really busy. I'm up at all hours, morning and night. Yeah. And so if I have a candle burning, things are going to be all right. Yeah. You're going to make it nice if for I, yourself. If I can, if I can like get myself flowers every week and I can have a candle always burning so that it doesn't it's smell like a not much diaper. to ask for, Sue. Yeah. yeah, that's all I want. I think every woman it's deserves it. Yes. You hear that, ladies? You Buy yourself that. some flowers and get, get yourself candles candle. and yeah. keep one in the closet for when it runs out. You deserve backup too. Yeah, oh, I agree. I okay. Know. My guilty pleasure is online shopping. <laughs> 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 I don't have time to shop. And so I... I just shop for my bed at night when I'm laying in bed and I get all the ads and I swipe up and I buy things from companies I've never heard of before. Mm -hmm. I am just a real slut that way. I love to try new things. I love it. (laughs) I love change. I love a new thing. I get sick of myself and I buy things that don't look like me so that I can experience a new version of myself. I think that's, I think that's I think cool. That's and I'll be like, I feel like that looks too much like me. I'm not going to buy it because I don't want to get caught in a rut. <laughs> I need, yeah, I need to so I that, try yeah. to always, but inevitably like you find that like I'm driving my same car in a different color. I had the same car before I have There's my favorite pair of tennis color. shoes in another colorway. So sometimes I get caught, but then I'm like, that's it. I'm cutting myself off. <laughs> I'm not going to do it again because uh, I just feel so bad when I see people caught in a rut and I'm just trying so hard at age 47 to not get stuck in a rut. So I love an online shopping. I can't even believe I didn't discover Amazon until like the last two or three years. It's so easy. Adam Bennett has always used it, but I would always just like, no, I need to see them all. I need to tiptoe through the tulips and just see every option in the grocery store as I try and make a new decision about "Mm -mm, Amazon now, everything. It's a problem. Every day there's something on the porch. Um, So I love that. And then the other thing that I love is two things, dark chocolate. Mm -hmm anything dark chocolate I love. And then the beauty counter with an expert helping me is so fun. How I just know? love it. Do you have because an expert I'm like, or do you find one that you're I like, find I one. look like I trust you. I find one. I like your style. And then I'm like, I need you to be my Disneyland fast pass. Here's what I'm looking for. But also tell me what else is great. And, and then like, touch my face. I just love it. I do too. I'm like, can, will you just go ahead and put that right on me? And then we just inevitably, I leave with, you know, a best friend and too much, a bag full of stuff and free samples. And I'm, I'm off to being a new version of myself. Oh, bear. Yeah. Like you say, I can't, I have a hard time buying beauty products online because I really do want an expert to tell me what to do so that I can up level myself. So I don't get stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Those are my guilty pleasures. Okay. What are yours? I want to meet my, my uh-huh. expert. Well, you just, you know, you have to find somebody. And if you don't trust them, if you don't trust them, then you just buy the one thing that you went in for. Okay. But if you do, 
then you start going through them in your phone. I got this. Phone about, I got phone. this little. I got this little thing. Is there? Do you got? Do you got something for this? You got a drug dealer. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> the Nordstrom. Indeed. I love it. Yeah, it's really fun. Guilty like pleasure it. core. Mine. Uh, so I'm not. I don't really feel guilty about a ton of things, but there's been something <laughs> I've tried to be to cut back lately. And it's an expression. Um, I don't feel guilty for anything either. So. <laughs> uh, so there's a store in Springville called Reams. Um, it's a grocery oh store. Oh my gosh. I haven't heard of Reams for <laughs> Yeah. Like, uh, Springville Reams is the best. Um, and they make the best apple fritters. I love a fritter. Yeah. The I'm, size of my face. I love a fritter. Yep. 100%. Yeah. And I'll eat it at nine o'clock at night. Yes. I, <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah. you for that. Down. Yeah. Oh, we need a Reams guy. apple fritter. I'm going to get you guys some apple fritters. I do Please. want Thanks one. They're seriously You know amazing. who loves a fritter is my mom. Yeah. I mean, a little Polly looking yeah. 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 The size of her torso. Yeah. yeah. She's so small. She is so small and she just loves a fritter. What's your favorite donut? Mm. Used to be this maple bar. I like maple bar, but I really love a chocolate cake donut. I like the dense chocolate Ooh. cake. And then a fritter. Those three. Love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. How about yeah. you? What's your favorite donut? Maple bar and old fashioned. I love old, old fashioned. Fashion. I do love that too. Just any, like and a blueberry old fashioned or like old. any of them are just yes. so good. Sometimes just like the donut hole is a nice way to experience more flavors mm -hmm. in without having to commit to the whole pack. donut. No, yeah, a whole donut will make you sick at my age. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I Corey was that. saying. Yeah. 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 It's, it's disgusting. Horrible. I do want to try that fritter though. That I'm sounds bring, amazing. I'm going to bring some next time we're recording. Can't wait. Good. Okay. What's up next? Okay. All right. Guilty pleasure. <laughs> um, what are you currently collecting? Let's oh. talk about collections. 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 Um, you start, Sue. I'm going to think of my collection while you do that. Beauty products right. for me. <laughs> Probably no surprise Stuff from online. Um, <laughs> stuff from online. <laughs> Everything from online. Anything that's Whatever sold. Whatever you can find online. I, I'm collecting it. sold online. I'm currently collecting it. All on my on my bathroom sink, actually. <laughs> Ask Adam Bennett. He's like, are you going to clean this up? And I'm like, everything is actually exactly where I need it for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> there's an order. There's a process. Oh, man. Layoff. <laughs> yeah. Um, there is an order and a process. Yeah, I feel like my sport of late has been framing <laughs> things. Oh my god! Stop, you guys! Candles, framing, chocolate. You guys, wait, 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 wait. Okay. When Sue talks about framing things, <laughs> she has. I this have a guy. Amazing framer that frames the most beautiful things you've ever seen in your life. You think she's getting them framed in Rome? They're like gold leaf they're etched hand they're carved. hand carved with people's hands they're so crazy and Sue's buys art like it's no big deal it's and art. coffee table books it's like continued ed education she has so much art she just leaves a stack of it the framer and then she'll be like hey fire up another one <laughs> and then he'll frame something else for thousands of dollars and then Sue Hall goes and picks up her masterpiece and she has no more wall space and she continues to add oh. you need to erect stack a wall just for gallery's sake <laughs> Just in the Let middle of the family room. I'm going to enclose uh, that so I can have a bigger gallery right there. Yes. That's what I should do. Sue's guilty pleasure is definitely Rhett, the I'm framer. Tired. And I, love you, Rhett. I she, need that contact. She I'm just makes, I know. I, I just really got the contact too. You could have too, a but pile of poop and he would make it look gorgeous. I'm just telling you, he would cast it in gold and it would be amazing. But, <laughs> but I will say amazing. three dimensional objects. I, I was like, what am I collecting? I'm like, what, what do I have right now at yeah. the framer? And it's like my favorite thing lately. I love that. I got, we got that antique Mexico necklace from Palm Springs Oof, like last year. So pretty. I frame it. Ooh, and I want to see like that. This, like little turquoise. He painted this turquoise on the side reveal. Stop it. And it's so good. And then he, um, when Tom was down in Palm Springs last, he got this like really, and this matador hat. Oh, And it's cool. like, this, it, it's really, really cool. And it Rhett sounds amazing. Right and I just think it'll be, so really we, you cool won't be able to wear it though. It's just going to be enclosed. Well, no, will there be a little door you can open be, and he can wear it? Cause he just like, he makes them just like so deep and lovely that I think uh, it's something that I could probably take off. I could uh, probably take that necklace off if I really wanted to, uh, but he's so pretty so good. And it just is such a showcase. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So framing is my, my sport. Yeah, for sure. I love, I love it. it. Yep. That's, that's amazing. That's what I've been collecting. That's a really good collection. And then ceramics. Too. I love ceramics. Yeah. Yeah. Especially like ivory ones, like just a solid mm -hmm. good collection. You have a really those. good collection so, on your, on your mantle right now for a while. And I love it. So 
It's so it's good. Uplifting. Yeah. I like the antique oddity right now. We're like working on a collection of curiosities, mm-hmm. um, for, uh, Jay Bennett. And, um, so I have just been on a mission to collect the little, you guys know our Harper hand. It's like an open hand on one side. It's a brass bar and then a closed fist on the opposite end. And you put it inside of like an open book or it's an accessory or whatnot. So that was like a piece that I've just had in my collection forever. And so I'm just always just trying to, you know, find a cute little object that we can, that we can bring back to life again and create. And we've just got great artisans all over the world that are working with us. And it just makes it so fun. And the world got so small when we did it. And so Corey is communicating with everybody and I'm looking for things. And so I just got back from Arizona and made my girlfriend, the antiques take me to like every store, just in search of like these cute, fun, little curiosities. So I don't know. That's fun. I also love when we go to high point going to 214 modern is like so fun. And unfortunately we always go at the end of the day when we've already seen so many things, but you just walk really slow and everything's great. Around a couple of times. Yeah. And we always, we've never left empty handed, but it feels really like, um, luck is involved. You know, and great fortune. And I don't know, it's just as fun as yeah, going to maybe a palm reader. It's the it's most really, fun. Really yeah. Is. The hunt is so, so much fun. So I do love that. But I think just trying to find things that are just really authentic and lovely and made by artists or yeah. just, you know, they just add such a soul and a spirit. Or like going to Palm Springs. We usually go like once in the winter and, you know, bring back little little yeah. treasures. Honestly, wherever you travel, and I think like when you've been doing this as long as we have, yeah. like you've gotten rid of enough stuff that you know what you don't want. Mm-hmm. You don't, you're not going to go to TJ Maxx. You're not going to just grab stuff for stuff. Like yeah. you're not that, I'm not back there anymore. Totally. Like, you know what you like and like, there's only so much space and you want it to be awesome. Mm-hmm. Also vintage clothing. Mm, we yeah. both love decades yes. here in Salt Lake city. And I do. when I was in um, Palm Springs, gosh, she took me to a place. I forget what it's called right now, but um, the gal that runs it has um, Rihanna. Yeah has she has her on speed dial and she texts her whenever she gets new That's batches crazy. of stuff in crazy and she sends her like a package a week That's and so much fun you should that see that like the stuff she has so i bought a vintage gucci shirt when i was there i'm trying to figure out when to wear it and how to wear it but i'm super excited about it and um she just has lots of amazing like vintage chanel and isn't it funny vintage you really want to wear it when it's going to count i haven't worn that clothing. Dolce and Gabbana one Either that you coat. have to wear it. I'm waiting for the right time. I know, but like we need to do what Just Martin Lawrence Buller says and don't save anything see. for best. Yes, yeah. True. Okay. So anyway, I just want to make sure that like we're all going to see each other, so you can get credit for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, like, you don't just reach people to, around you. We need to have a app, really hard to find that an <laughs> apple fritter eating party and wear our best stuff. Yeah. There we so, go. So yeah. So I think vintage clothes are a total scream. <laughs> Yeah. Super oh, fun. I love that. Um, how about you, Corey? What are you collecting right now? Records. Um, oh, put the needle on the record. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sing it, girl, girl, put your record on. That one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Of course you're collecting uh, vinyl. That's so cool. Yeah. I, I mean, that's like if a band that I even semi like is like, Oh, we're releasing this. I have two right now. Look, I got an email last week. It's like your vinyl is almost going to be shipped. I ordered it like almost a year ago. I was like, Oh, I forgot about it actually. But <gasps> no way. Yeah, so it's like, you know, Christmas, fun, though. You know, I love that. Yeah. When you get a delayed package, you're like, that was so fun that I did that a year ago. I know yeah. my past self yeah. hooked me up. <laughs> Exactly. Thanks, self. <laughs> That's how online shopping is for me. I'm like, woohoo. <laughs> and you feel like it's free because it just showed up at your door. I know. You I'm like, to give I hooked myself up with this. Cash, and know? Adam's like, what did you get now? I'm like, don't worry about it. I'll probably just send it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mari tells me that all the time. I'm, so, oh, I'm sending this one back. And I was like, okay. And I'm in my closet sure. giggling and so excited. <laughs> oh, very delicately opening so I don't cut anything. I love it. I know. That's so fun. It's a problem, but I, I love it. I populate carts, but then I never pull the trigger. Why? It's so stupid because I fall asleep. Because you're not hooking yourself up. I know. You're too tired. too damn tired. Your kids are ruining your life. <laughs> I know. I'm a wreck. Give yourself a surprise for three days from now. <laughs> I know. You know what I mean? That's I said, Amazon crap. is so easy. It's only if I have to like go outside where I'm like lying down to get my credit card. Yeah. To plug that in. Like I'm like, girl, just lost a sale. There's Apple there's no, pay. I know, but sometimes they don't have Apple pay options oh. for those random, like then do turkeys that other, come on your oh, Instagram. Yeah. You're just like, I'm not going to get that dress now. Cause I they can't. want me to get out of my bed. Yeah. Into the cold. 
wilderness. My the, kids are going to hear me. Let this be a I'm message start stepping, to then you they're gonna be, Then they're going to get out of bed and no one's going to get a dress. Now I'm out, we're all going to be awake. Yeah. No one's. I feel, yeah. Anyway. Okay. All right. Next. I love all those things. Mm-hmm. Okay. Favorite place to go on the weekend. Suzanne, Hall, and Corey, where's your favorite place to go on the weekend? I'm going this weekend. <gasps> what? Oh, um, yeah, we yeah. know. Yeah, I know. I've said it a million times. Disneyland, though. That's, that's just a cool, yeah, it's fun yeah, to go for a couple of days. Yeah, I love that. They're doing flights out of Provo now to Orange County. Yes. Uh, it's amazing. Nice. Yeah, we got like $100 round trip tickets. That's silly. That's silly. Yeah, prices. you can't even drive there for that. No. Yeah. With these gas prices. That's so, with yeah. these gas prices. <laughs> At my age, who are we? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to us, guys. <laughs> Geriatric podcast. <laughs> We're, um, Suzanne, where's your favorite place to go? Oh, um, I love, like, we are just so lucky. We have these canyons, and I love going up the canyon. I love going to Park City, and I love, I don't know, just going up to Sundance. Mm-hmm. My favorite. And, yeah, I just love that. Um, one place I haven't been in a second that is, I'm talking local, um, Hell's Backbone. I love it there. I love Hell's Backbone Grill. And when the first time I went there, I was like, I was sitting down. It's a five star. Mm-hmm. Hold on, where and is this? It's between Escalante and Boulder, which oh, I think is okay. just like the honey pot because you have pines, but then you're starting to see red rocks. It's just like, it's, it's just, the best. It's the absolute best. And I feel like it's the more undiscovered spot. Um, but Hell's Backbone Grill, I remember sitting down and I was just like, what am I smelling? And they had cut fresh mint and put it in a votive Stop. on every table. And so you were just like this aromatic Yum. experience and stuff so and i love like i love road trips uh-huh. i love lookouts i love like rest stops mm-hmm. with lookouts and that just like you just see how big and beautiful mm-hmm. of a state we're in so yeah, yeah. That's, those are my favorite places to go on a weekend that's really good i like that i have not found my place yet home you yeah love, you i love do arizona yeah, no, Arizona was really great. And I do love Palm Springs in the winter. I haven't been in the summer, but I remember when Sioux Hall went in September and burned her bippy off because it was so hot. Terrible. So don't go in the summer, but that is fun um, for a thrill, I think, in the winter time. But I don't like have that place. You know what I mean? Like my in-laws summer in on Lake Erie and at Lakeside, Ohio, and they go every summer and it's their ritual. And, you know, they open the cottage and then they close the cottage in October and it's their thing. And I've watched this happen, you know, forever. And my folks, you know, their place I think is park city that they love to go to. And, um, they have a timeshare there and they bring all of us kids up before Christmas and it's a ritual and it's lovely. And you guys are going to Disneyland and you know what I mean? It's just part of your rhythm. And, and you grew up camping and you love the great outdoors and you love, you know, the wide open spaces and that feels so good. And I'm like, I haven't found my place. I don't know. I don't know what my place is, but I do. I mean, I do love to, I do like to sort of experiment on it. So I need to plan, I need to plan something to really find my place and go there often. Yeah. I was going to say the thing about Jess. I mean, I think about going places. You think about like, what are people doing on the weekends? Right. Yeah. Jess, every single weekend, I feel like since I met you, like, especially when like the g- girls got to like certain age, you would like always, you'd go get your nails done with your girls. Mm-hmm. She has two cute girls. Go get your nails done with whichever girl wanted to sign up to hang out with mom, which how fun would it be yeah, to go shopping and yeah. get your nails done with you Jess? You think I was Kate pulling Jane, teeth. Yeah. Kate Jane, you're so lucky. Um, mm-hmm. And then you, you go to Great Harvest to get like- A loaf your, of bread. A loaf of bread. Yeah. Next week. Like you have those things, but you're not, it's funny because it's your schedule and the things that you love. But you're, we're always, we don't own our calendars, guys. No. At all. Yeah. And so Saturday is the day. I freestyle. Freestyle. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's your sport. Freestyling. And I just do and it at my own. You. Yeah. I don't have to keep time. I don't ever look at the clock and I just go and I get the things done that I need to and whatever Jane wants, which is usually like a drive through Starbucks or, you know, just like the things that kids think are really fun. And um, yeah, get our nails painted and yeah, I always grab my loaf of bread from a local bakery and, you know, you go to certain grocery stores that are good at certain things. If you're in a hurry, then you do get them all at one place, but then they're not as delicious, you know, the experience is still. Yeah. And like- if you can, if you can live slow and, you know, eat slow and not have to worry about fast casual, then I feel like you can have a moment with it and just really um, take your time to do it. And I feel like 
my natural biorhythm for my life would be like when I retire, I want to freestyle for the rest of my life. And I don't want to have to keep time other than to go to the dentist or something like that. Like the artist in me wants to wander and I want to experience new things all the time. Like I was trying to think about where we were going next. I was like, I feel like I've got a trip every month for the next four months that will be going somewhere for work, but they're not vacations, they're trips. And I always think that like when you go with your family somewhere, it's a trip or if the parents are taking their kids with them, it's a trip, it's a vacation. If you go with your husband and couples, you can like let loose and do whatever you want, but you're not caring for your kids. And so most of my life is trips. It's a work trip or it's, it's for family to go see, you know, the in-laws somewhere or to go be with the family somewhere, but they're not vacations. And I don't get to vacation in life. You know what I mean? Like your trips fill up enough time and you move around enough and you get to see new things that way. But I just, I guess I'm not good at vacationing. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm bad at. So yeah, I need to figure that out, but I do love to freestyle. So yeah, on the weekend. Okay. I love it. Your next vacation spot. Where do you want to go? If you don't have a plan, where do you want to go? Ooh, let's start with you. Do you have something? I think it's Mexico yeah. for you, right? Yeah, for sure. Like yeah. Mexico city. I'm going to mm-hmm. do Mexico city. I'm yeah. Go on an artist tour. Or Oaxaca, I think would be awesome. Yeah. Too. We had Kate Hipple. Kate Hable when she did the artist residency. Yeah. There. That sounded amazing. Tom spent time there. Um, and I really haven't since I was like a kid. Which is silly because it's like so close. Yeah. You can go to Mexico so easily. So it's, close. It is really hard for us to get away to go on vacation. So yeah. Well, you're well, and I'm like tiny in, the thick, kids. In, the yeah. thick, in the thick of it right now. This is my season mm-hmm. of the children. But yeah, that's where I want to go. So what about you, Cor? We are, we're renting a lake house with some friends in Coeur d'Alene for oh, 4th of July. Dreamy so, bear. Yeah, I'm stoked on that. I That'll love be fun. that. It feels, it feels American. I don't know it why. Does, uh-huh. I'm like, man, I'm going to go celebrate America. Oh, you know? that's great. Yeah. yeah, you are. Do you know what I want to experience? Because we watched Outer Banks so much. I was like, I do want to go to the Outer Banks. And yeah. we love North Carolina because we go to market there and... Um, it's super, super fun. And we fly into Charleston now and Charleston's just so cute. And so much of the there. South is She's really cute. I do want to do the South. I want to do the South with somebody that's Southern so we can do it the local way, not the touristy way. Totally. If anybody out there is listening to us, will you please I'll holler tour. and we're going to come, you tell us where to stay. We want to come be with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amen. I love that. I that's love what I South. like. I like going to places where the locals are and them teaching us and showing us around. Yeah, it's There's really fun. Pockets everywhere. I feel like Some great pockets. Them. Yes, yeah, for sure, definitely. I love that. Okay, all right. Favorite gift to give somebody? Okay, I love to give a gift. I love to think about the special. person and what they would love to receive. It's so funny. I used to love to give clothes because I wanted clothes because I love getting clothes. Mm-hmm. But then I was like, don't ever give clothes again. It's too personal. Um, but I don't know, like favorite things right now are fun. And so you try and think of what they would love of your favorite things. And then you can say to them, I love this thing mm-hmm. and here's how I use it. And just like you gave me your favorite lotion, right? Mm-hmm. And it's great. And I think of you when I use it and it's fun and it makes things more intimate for you. But um, because I've been noticing um, kind of a, a little trend bubbling up with turquoise, I've given three turquoise necklaces mm-hmm. In the last six months, um, all different makers, um, no two are the same. Cause I don't feel like I should be giving my friends the same things cause their styles are different things, but I keep seeing turquoise coming up. And so little, little turquoise, turquoise handmade artist necklaces, like, um, Suze, I found yours on Etsy and, um, I was like, oh, that just feels like Suze. And then I think like couple it with your favorite brand of lip gloss or, whatever, but I have a girlfriend in Chicago and I sent her all my favorite things and it was just from, from Amazon, but it's like my favorite socks right now and my favorite hand cream that smells amazing. And my, this this heating pad, I just barely got, that's great. It's not a heating blanket, but it can keep you warm. So she can put that in bed with her while she reads and just like probably six to eight things. And the packages, some come together and some come random, but that's so easy to do. Or I think a candle is always nice. We sell I think our favorite brands at Alice Lane. And so it's easy to do that with a candle dish. If you don't know somebody very well, I think that's always a hit. I don't know. Or you just, you just kind of think about like what they're into right now, you know, and then it's really easy to, 
to give like a favorite beauty product, like the under eye patch, you know, that I'm really loving me and my sister have been like trying all the under eye patches right now and sharing notes and yeah, I'm like doing it every morning. It's super, super fun. So there's like a really cheap Amazon one. That's great that we're loving, but the expensive ones that we love are beauty bio. She has a great one, but they're probably about $7 per set of patches where I can get these ones on Amazon that are 60 of them. So a whole month worth for $10 and they're like, they're like gold and they're fun to wear (laughs) and I do it every morning and it's just fun and silly. It's my splash of cold water in the face. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Anyway. So yeah, I think a beauty product is really fun to give a girlfriend. I don't know. What's your, what do you guys do for gift giving? What do you love to give? I'm not the best gift giver, but what I've tried to do for the last couple of years when we do like a family like gift exchange during Christmas time is yeah. get one of our like like the AL product that we've had that was like most new at the time. I love that. Mm-hmm. It's I mean it's something you know that I've like worked on obviously um, something I'm proud of and like typically it's a better value to them than like you. You know yeah. what I mean? Then like, then, then they could go get it for us. So yeah, I like doing that. I think it's fun. You know, my family loves it. So that's cool. cute. That's very cool. Yeah. That'd be fun to get a gift from uncle Corey or brother Corey or whatever you are to them. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of everything, you know? Yeah. I like <laughs> it. How about you, Sue? What do you like to give? Um, I'll tell you what I like to get. I like to get stuff like that. Uh huh. I'm changing the, the narrative on this, yeah. um, but, and I think, and you're really thoughtful. You're a really good gift giver, but I really do love to give like candles and things Mm -hmm. that feel like luxury, but it's something that they don't necessarily have to store unless I know them really well and I can get them something, you know, really intimate and great, a book or whatever. And then that's what I usually get. Yeah. I love giving books um, per their style. If they're in a rut or something, I think that that's very telling. Um, And I love the book cradle. So Mm -hmm. I pair those a lot. I love um, just fancy candles. I love our sheets. Yeah. Just because I think it's oh, something yeah. that people don't get themselves. Oh, and, those are amazing gifts. Like yeah. testimony of, of those. And just like the things that we just need to use every day. Yeah. Those are my favorite gifts from other people mm-hmm. because I can actually like use them. They're practical, They're practical. But, mm-hmm. but there's like a little luxury involved too. Totally. New sheets of any kind are a luxury, I find. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And it's something that people don't usually buy for themselves. We're, we're in an industry where we're lucky to, yeah. to know about them and get them. Totally. Oh. I totally feel that yeah. that way. Okay. All right. Good job, everyone. Favorite song right now and or favorite song forever. I did Corey both. Place. Yeah, I did Corey both. Place. This one yeah, is for you. This is for you. I don't know if I have one. Um, My favorite song forever is The Scientist by Coldplay. Mm. Oh, yeah. So good. I'm an emotive person. So that, yeah, I love that song always. Uh, and then my favorite song right now is by an artist called Phoebe Bridgers. Mm. Um, it's called Smoke Signals, oh, and it's very wow. good. Um, okay. I like that. Yeah. What? Um, what? Like genre? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's kind of like yeah, it's like a very emotive song too. Um, but it's uh, yeah, like indie, mm-hmm. indie like folk kind of, but it's electric. Nice. So it's not. Ooh, yeah. so it's nice. Cool. I love that. And she's a great singer and songwriter. Her melody, melody in it is great. Mm. The lyrics in it are so amazing. So love that. check that one out. That's great. Sue, how it. about you? Do you have a favorite of all time or a favorite right now? It's probably the song that I think I, I feel like has made, had probably more covers of it like than any other song, but I love This Is The Place. What's Talk, that? Talking Heads. Oh yeah. Um, I would say Hallelujah has the most covers of all time. Oh, oh I right. love Hallelujah. Yeah, such a good song. Yep. But This Is The Place by Kishi Bashi. Yeah, yeah. that's so, so good. So, so much. Whenever I, I hear them, I think of you. I love their production. Yeah. I just, I love every, I love Manchester by them too. But This Is The Place, when I first heard it, I was just like, this, I know this yeah. song. And like, but then like you feel their, their rendition of it and I just love it. It's so, so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. One, every time I hear electric feel, I oh, I'm just like, gosh, this yes, is a good song. I always think of <laughs> you on that one. And like, and no one loves it. And so I just, it's so much fun. Yeah. Yes. That's so there good. Are a couple that I love, love. Is that MGMT? Uh, is that who that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's so fun. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. He knows it like word by word. And I'm just like such a proud mom. <laughs> like he sings. I'm just like, yes, I'm not like screwing you up. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> good music. I love that. That's so fun. I love that. That's so fun. Fantastic. 
Oh, you guys, the pressure of an answer. So I make it, I know I say this all the time, I make a playlist per season of my life. So I was just looking at my winter 23 mix. Um, It's almost time to make a spring 23 mix. But they're all so random and different genres and they just are making me feel something that makes me feel alive right now. Yeah. So, I mean, Bleachers is always great. Yeah. Yeah. I love, I love them. And and my husband loves them too. And so they're just like this great little Jewish band. That's so fun and puts you in a really good mood. Um, Boy from the Killers. I keep playing that over and over and over again. I don't know why I love it. I'm just like so into it. Sometimes I, I don't know. Have you heard Quiet Town by the Killers? Yes. Mm-hmm. Such a good song. I feel that so deeply in my soul because I'm from Richville. Yeah. You're from Springville. Yeah. And so, yeah. It's It just feels, it like, feels like the heart of Utah kind it of. It does. Yeah. 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 And Brandon Flowers, we love. Mm-hmm. Yes. The best. So good. I've got Blackbird on here by Nina Simone. So good. Cozy by Beyonce. Um, anyway, just lots of stuff that I'm just feeling for the moment. Um, yeah. And I feel like music just communicates so deeply in different ways. We had, um, a really good friend of ours that, um, was, um, doing some work with his company and they were, you know, there's a really big moment for him. And he texted us like at midnight the other night, the song coming home by Diddy. And, um, we were just like, cold chills because we knew what he was going through in his life and that song just kind of said it all sometimes like how a picture is worth a thousand words i feel like music's that way mm-hmm. and so it's worth a thousand feelings for sure it really um, is yeah, yeah. Sure. and like i got really teary just thinking about his journey and what he's going through and what he's doing and um you know spoke back to him in the same lyrics and you know it was just an easier way of communicating something quicker by just feeling those feelings. And so, yeah, I feel music in a really big way. I can't sing. I'm not musical, but I love music. I make the playlist for Alice Lane. I make playlists for my life. I make playlists for parties and I can't choose a favorite. I just, I really love music. So, um, I wish I had an all time fave, but I'm sure I do. I probably just need to dig deeper on that one. It, I, I love both of your favorites. And when I think of both of you, I'm like, yes, those are hundred percent your songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I will play them for at your funeral. Yeah. Yes. But you guys will both outlive me. So we probably won't. Yeah. <laughs> but you should tell your people. No. Yeah. Exactly. My mom says something. Yeah. I'm like, stop talking about that. Don't talk about that. I know You're for sure. Living. Yes. Any others? Well, Let's see. Favorite makeup trick. Corey. <laughs> splash, a splash of cold water. <laughs> What'd you call this? A split, a splits? A schwitz. A schwitz. Schwitz like of that. water. I love, I love it. How about you, Sue? Do you have a uh, favorite makeup trick? I'm a lip girl. Yeah, you are. I said eyes. I can't do too much up there, but yeah. Um, yeah, the lip. I have like tried lots of lipsticks and I continue. I still like the NARS lip pencil, like mm-hmm. the crayon. Cause it's like, a, a kid like my two-year-old could use it so yeah easy, easy to apply and it doesn't dry out kylie jenner's lips dry out sorry kylie uh-huh. i'm not a fan of them um, good to know but i like that but then and i like i like nars for their mm. lip crayons yeah you do shiseido like, makes it yep i sure do and i like cruella and dragon girl those are my reds and then i always put um the mac lipstick lady danger uh-huh usually um just because it has orange in it and it I don't feel so serious. Mm-hmm. Like I'm trying to, I'm not a serious person. You know, and you know, like if you're gorgeous or you're cute and you're like, I'm just a cute, I'm a cute girl, you know? And so, yeah, lady danger. Lady danger yeah. for the cute girl in you. For the cute girl in you. I like that. Take yourself too seriously. I like that so much. Okay. I'm trying to find the name of it, but I was going to say, whatever you're going to do to your face, if you will spray Clarins, it's called fixin' something else. It's you put it on after your Leave makeup's it to done me for Christmas for my birthday. If you spray that on your okay. face when your makeup's done, it will keep your makeup. It's like hairspray. It will keep your makeup on all day, and it gives you a little bit of a glow. And you'll get lots of compliments, and you won't be able to figure out why. And then you're like, it's that. It's that Clarence. spray. Yeah. It Clarence, really it's called fix and then N apostrophe and then something else fix. Yeah, and it's in this beautiful pink bottle. Yeah, it's like reddish really trans yeah. translucent. I do love that. I'm kind of sleeping around on it right now and trying other fixing br- br- um, ones, but it's still my all time favorite. Yeah. yeah. Clarence. So I'm a big fan. Also yeah. big fan of, um, I'm 47 years old. And so, you know, you're just always trying to watch out for the wrinkles 
So I wanted to get into using um, retinol. Oh, yeah. It's like such a game. Mari has been using that lately. I'm telling you, it has changed her skin. Right? Yeah. Okay. I, I as a male, like I notice. I'm yes. like, dang, babe, like your skin is insane. So they have something called the reversal. And mm -hmm. it is um, a series of three different retinols. It starts you at step one, you up to step two and step three. Mm -hmm. And it has two things in one like little pod. And so you squirt both in, you cocktail them together with your fingertips and put them Is on your on crow's feet. It's beauty bio. Oh yeah. Yeah. We actually did Jamie O'Banion's house, beauty, beauty bio. Yeah. And I'm not saying this because I love her. She's gorgeous. She is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Such a beauty She's queen. Gorgeous and cute. So high She's five, all things beautiful. Yeah. But anyway, she, her dad is this great scientist and Jamie's the front person. Mm -hmm. And anyway, they make an amazing um, retinol product. So if you're trying to figure out how to get into the retinol game, what, which one to use, how to use it, if you'll just start with the reversal, start at the one, you'll use up all that product, go to the two. It comes with all three in the thing the whole thing is called the reversal and then move up to the three. And then I think you can start playing the field on just using retinol in general. I remember starting it around the 4th of July and I was talking to classmates that were younger than me in high school. And they're like, how is it that you have no wrinkles and you're older than I am? And I was like, Oh, that's really nice of you. But inside I was like, this is the reversal. I had wrinkles two months ago and they're gone. That's amazing. It's dramatic. Mm -hmm. So if you care about that, I would say that is like such an amazing beauty product. Um, and then definitely just use retinol every night. Yeah. You don't use it with, um, when you go in the sun, mm -hmm. um, definitely use sunscreen during the day and use retinol it's at night before days. bed. I'm sleeping around on that right now. So, favorite, so Goop, I know. I'm using goop right now. Um, I'm trying to decide if I like how it feels with my foundation afterward, but she has one that's dewy and the one that's not dewy. The one that's dewy is, I mean, yeah, it's like got a shimmer to it. It's not playing well with my makeup. So I like the non shimmer one. I found a good one that I like. So the goop really one on is that. really like nothing's on your skin. So it is really nice, but don't get the shimmer. Like I don't like the smell or something's like every time I buy one, I'm just like, ah, oh, you're not it. This one's almost like a gel. Um, it's kind of nice, but I would say if you're in your forties or thirties, how old's Mari? 35. 35. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. I don't know when they say to start retinol. Google that, okay. but it's a, it's a game changer. Yeah. yeah beauty bio. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The reversal. That. And you had a favorite, favorite perfume. Oh yeah. And okay. Cologne. I'm, yeah. I love trying all different ones. Um, I go through a ton of them currently. I just rebought, um, Tom Ford black oh, orchid. So good. Yeah. I get the most compliments when I wear that. I think it just mixes with my pheromones, but then when I want to feel like light and airy and, um, cute, mm -hmm. <laughs> then I will wear, um, velvet haze by Byredo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got that when you, yeah. When we were up at cake and it is so good. Yeah. It's good. Right. It's really, it's light like, and airy is like also a like gypsy. totally like a gypsy and you feel Santel, really I think Santel 33 That's is insane. also in the same category, mm -hmm, totally. which I love too. That one didn't stay on me for very long. Um, but Tom Ford sticks with me all day. Well, black that's orchid. A, I don't know if it's because we went like in the fall, but that's like a fall scent to me. I don't know why. You know, Ta like you. Black orchid is. No, no, the black orchid, but just the byredo. I just oh, think byredo, of it. Yeah. I think of it in the fall. It's lovely. And uh, also I think the roll on amber perfume. I love that. It smells great on everybody. And it's it like $19. I get, I get compliments on Get it on Amazon. Time. Look it up. Amber oil roll on perfume. Mm -hmm. Buy it. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. I recently got the Gucci one for, I put it in my stocking for myself. Oh, which one? I got the blue one. Guilty? I have the, they're just like the florally ones. Oh. So I that they were so pretty. And you love them? I love the blue one. Great. I love, I, someone gave me the pink one and I bought the bigger blue one uh -huh. for myself and I like the blue one better. Okay. Totally like the blue one better. Nice. But it's just like, it's a happy smell. I like that. And I like that. And I love the bottle. I my, also feel like that suits you because you are a happy soul. Yeah. Yeah. I like I that. Smell, I can't remember what was this. The flower that it smells like, but mm -hmm. I like it. Nice. I like smell like a good. How about you, Corey? What do you like to smell like? Aqua di Parma, the Fico di. I you can say Aqua di Gio. I'm just like, uh, oh your high. yeah. <laughs> That's hey, me. 2002. All the, all the cute boys were Aqua di Gio. He's like, I'm <laughs> still rocking it. Sorry, but say it one more Gerard, time. Do you know who you are? <laughs> Aqua, Aqua di Parma, and they have like a bunch of them. And the one that I like uh, is the Fico di Amalfi. Oh. So. Yeah, it's it's that's my I feel like that's my set that's when I signature? when I like mm -hmm. smell that I was like, oh, that's me. You guys, I'm going to say something really controversial right now. I'm going to get tomatoes thrown at me. Oh. Let's hear it. I did go to Nordstrom recently <gasps> yeah. and I was like, I'm looking for a new scent because, you know, I want to I want to change it up. Yeah. 
And I know on the back of my mind, like I know black orchids probably my jam, but I really want to make sure and I want to try other things. So immediately they take me to the Creed counter. You're monogamous, man. You're just like, I know. So I go to the Creed, I go to the Creed counter and they're like, you have to try this. And I'm like, I hate the logo so much. The branding is so ugly to my eyes Mm -hmm. that I was like, I can't have this in my life, in my shelf, in my world. I hate it. And he's like, he's like, spraying all these things on all these papers on a wrist on the back of a hand. We're spraying all of it, all of it, all of it. And I like, I kind of like this one. I keep coming back. I'm like smelling it, smelling it. I'm like, can I go try black orchid? We try it. I'm like, I cannot buy anything Creed. It's so ugly to me. Mm. The package is ugly. The logo is ugly. It's very masculine. Eat the band. It's, I hate the band too. Maybe yeah, that's why I can't get by. It's it. like the number one. I feel like it must be like the number one perfume right now. Like mm-hmm. everybody must be doing it. Mm-hmm. It's so ugly to my eyeballs. I can't, I'm a branding person. Here, here guys. For first. You guys fight me on this. I'm totally fine with that. Tell me your favorite Creed sense. Have you guys heard about Creed? No. I feel like everybody's talking about I just it. I heard some of their songs and I was just like, ah, <laughs> I hate their ah. songs and their logo is so ugly. And he was yeah, telling me the story bad. about it, which is like really, really prestigious. But I'm like, I just cannot, this doesn't vibe with so, my person. So anyway, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm okay. If you want to start a fight with me, I'm totally down for that. And you can tell me what your favorite scent is, but yeah. right. Yeah. It's, it should be bedazzled on a pair of jeans or something. It's just yeah, it, really it looks bad. A, it looks a little affliction, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It does. I don't know. yeah. Anyway, I know that's a, a downer comment. note to, um, okay. to end on, but thank you so much. Flip a switch. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to our, um, to our A list, to our hit Short list. list. Our short list. Yeah. Yes. Our hit list. It was actually kind of long, but it's okay. <laughs> It was a, it was a long list. We had a lot to unpack. We did. We did. Thank you for tuning in to all yeah. one minute and 50, one hour and 15 minutes oh of my us. Gosh. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. If, if you guys you, backed out, like, we don't blame you. That's a really long podcast. But if you made it, if you made it this far, <laughs> we'll send you a free gift. <laughs> a compliment Message us. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, man. Man. Oh, my gosh. Smaller. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if you guys have any questions you want us to answer or episode ideas, please send them to dear Alice at alicelanehome.com. We will catch you next time. So long. Hey, thanks for listening. If you like our show, please leave a five-star rating. 